Alright, so before you want to do this, you want to go to your video and you want to find the starting point that you want to blur. So the start of the position that you want to blur and how long you want to blur it for. So you have to count the minutes that your that um that scene is going to go for. Um and then you want to go to here, you want to double click your sprite which is, you know, the file that you have, your file that you created. And then you want to click on the video. Go up to video effects. Go into filters. And what you want to select is box blur. And don't worry about this message, you won't get that. You'll get this one though. And in here you want to click on to manual position. So you want to go over to these uh, little zeros here and you want to write in the position in the video where you want it to start and how long you want it to go for. So that's why you have to count um, how many minutes. It doesn't have to be exact but um, um, with the milliseconds here and with the seconds and the minutes. It's mainly the minutes that uh, really count and the seconds. So after you've done that I, uh, I here have to click whole apparent because I don't have a position in here selected but then you want to click OK you want to go over to the properties window that's on the right hand side here and you want to go down to blur X levels um, you'll only need to blur, blur the X levels not necessarily the Y levels because you just want to blur it and then you just want to do this you got to turn it up as much as you want I um, mean you can have it as high as you want um, but yeah, just it just depends on your game. So that's how you blur the screen. And uh, when I hit play, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's nicely blurred. And you can like mess around with the Y levels to make it a little bit more kind of pleasant, I guess. Like kind of like that. But it's entirely up to you. So that's how you blur your video in. VSDC. Yeah, so it's pretty easy um, once you get used to it. Uh, or once you do it once, you, you'll get used to it. But you do have to double click your sprite. If you do not do that, it won't work for you. And you have to click on this blue bar, which is the video that you want to blur in. So yeah, just follow those steps and you should be right.